Right then, so um, basically on the back of your CPU um, you'll see this stuff, if it's an old one of course, which is thermal paste. Um, basically you want, you want to put some new, some new ones, some new stuff on. Uh, both, well no, just on this bit and it will transfer over. But what this does, this uh, this actually helps in uh, in the heat dissipation, it helps to um, Helps to transfer the heat better between the CPU and the heatsink, which is designed, of course, to uh, to cool it. <clears throat> so yeah, what we want to do is actually clear, clean this off. Sorry, um, and I'm actually just using a just a little bit of white spirit, just to rub into it. And if I can open the bottle, just to rub into it and uh, help. In cleaning it off. But yeah, just get a bit of kitchen roll. CPU's the easy bit. Yeah, there we go. Just clean it all off. Nice and easy. If you've ever done a, um, if you've ever fixed a Red Ring Xbox, it's just exactly the same principle. It's just all this stuff does is helps the, uh, the heat transfer from the CPU itself to the there we go to the heatsink. So that's now clear. Put that to one side. You have to move on to the actual CPU bit itself, which is a bit harder. Um, just because you've got to watch the pins on the back of it. Probably want to put something clean behind it. Uh, something, something clean. Something soft behind it. Just as you can hold it and just gently, very gently rub all of this grime off. Good God, that was on thick. And the white spirit is there really is just a sort of a, a, a lubricant just to just to loosen it a bit. Okay, I just need one, I'm just gonna use this. There we go. Nice, clean CPU, just like you see them in the shops. Okay then. Put the cap back on the white spirit before I pass out. Next step is Putting on some new thermal compound or thermal paste, uh, as I think it's more commonly known. Uh, you do not need a lot of this, so let me just squirt just a little bit into the middle. Maybe spread it around a little bit with this, just to save wasting any. Pop the cap back on. Just use a credit card or. Um, Usually they do come supplied with with cards, and just just spread it around so it covers the just covers the, uh, the top of it. A little really does go a long way in this, and it's going to be pressed flat to the heatsink anyway, so. Any excess is just going to squirt out the sides. That should be fine. I don't want it on there because I don't want it anymore. Um, next step is putting it back into the computer. So another camera change. Okay then. So uh, this bit's focusing purely, focusing purely on the CPU. So. Uh, there's always a little latch here, 
just want to pull that across a little bar. It's just to hold it in place, basically. Um, you want to pop your pop your CPU in. Now there is a way to do this, and it's always got the gold corner. Ignore that. Ah, there we go. That way around. So you want to see on the back, and you notice that there's some predefined places where there aren't any. Uh, you can't see because I'm holding it away. You can see those little holes in the back of the back of the board where there's no pins. You want to line them up with the with the holes on the motherboard. Sorry, the holes. The, the places that don't have holes. The non gaps. I'm not sure what to call them. Um, but yeah, basically, just line it up with that. If it's a new CPU, it should say really and truly in the instruction manual that came with it, which we're going to install it. See it? Let's just push that in just a little bit. Just to make sure it's in. And then it's just a case of pushing down this latch. It's got a little bit of resistance. And just check that it's in. And that should be fine. Nice. Okay, so then it's just to install the heatsink. Here we go again. Um, Notice the way that there's two clips on there. Um, it doesn't. Ooh, I don't think it matters which round you do it, um, but it's probably best to have the the clip at the uh, the clip the clip on the uh, heatsink at the top, just so it's out of the way. So yeah, just slot that on top or push that. Not push. Put place place is the word. Um, and you want to grab the both of these. I know you can't see, and I do apologise for that, but basically, you just want to clip them around both sides. So it's around one side. There we go. Okay, so that's on. And then you just want to push the clip over. Oops. There we go which will lock it securely in place. That's not moving anywhere. And the final step is plugging the fan for it back in. Which should be a little slot here. There we go. You can see at the top. Just plug the fan in. There we go. Alright. It's not too difficult. Right then. So yeah, that's the CPU done. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Check out the next one in the series. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it will be on yet. Uh, but there will be another one. Uh, show you how to finish off this masterpiece of work that we're doing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.